This year was certainly a year of remarkable events around the world, and absolutely Latin America was no exception. This is what we call the Global Trust Index, and basically it's a composite score of the uh, trust in four institutions, government, business, media, and NGOs. Trust in three out of four institutions in all, um, with the exception of media, experienced a decline this year. And this slide really compares the informed public audience, so the blue bars in 2011 and 2012, to the general population and, um, audience. And what you can see is that the general population audience is generally less trusting. We obviously see, circled there, the biggest drop in government. It's actually our biggest drop ever in any institution in the 12 years that we've been doing the survey. Um, and that really is the big news this year, that government is no longer able to lead. Um, now we see the most dramatic incre uh, decreases in Spain, Japan, and again, and most notably in Brazil. Mexico and Argentina, though, really join Brazil in having one of the lowest levels of trust in government. Uh, here is uh, a, a, a tracking of trust in government in those markets. It's a, it's a very good articulation of uh, Brazil's uh, spike last year and then the fall. Despite the lack of trust in government, people want more regulation. You have suddenly um, a lot of people leaving the poverty level and entering uh, the middle class. Uh, what uh, I assume empower people to express uh, more openly their uh, opinions about government and other institutions so, uh, but on the other hand, people have, have more money, people are doing things that they never did, and uh, at least in Brazil, the attribution is, uh, you know, the government is res responsible for, for that. Brazil for us is the most difficult op country to operate in because it's so extraordinarily regulated, and what we have to, the paces we have to go through are, I think in some respects, extreme. I think it directly reflects this lack of trust even though the trust level is low because of, of, of a cynicism and, and uh, what you call skepticism, but let's say cynicism, uh, and a sense of uh, a high corruption in government, um, there is still a very high idealism about government in Latin America mm -hmm. and a really high demand for uh, social services from government. Folks have a belief that government can make a difference. They believe, as opposed to maybe some of us in the U.S. or in Europe, that government can still be an agent of change. With that comes opportunities as well as risk for businesses. It's the societal factors where business is not meeting people's expectations. One of the most interesting findings in this year's survey was the dramatic fall of the CEO. You see two things. One, you see that uh, the percentages of trust in these spokespeople are higher, except when it comes to government official. That's even lower, and the gap is even more significant. An NGO representative fell 18 points in Brazil in terms of being a credible spokesperson. Take a look at the drop of trust in NGOs in Brazil, of all places. It was certainly the most notable decline in our survey, and we think, in a word, it has to do, and many of you might may be aware, with corruption. The only way that people are going to behave properly is if the, these rules are put into place. And I don't know what, the, I'll be honest with you, I don't see that decreasing in Brazil um, in terms of that ability to operate, certainly at, from an NGO perspective. Because um, I, I think, in, if anything, it's just going to, these regulations and, and are going to increase. So the only institution to rise globally, as I said, was media. People feel that media helped capture the story, uh, helped uncover some of the corruption and some of the scandals. The jump globally of trust in social media is quite significant. In Latin America, that also holds true. In fact, uh, it's the most trusting in the world of traditional media. And these numbers are also higher than the global averages. Latin America and the media still, you know, they still give and take more. They negotiate more. The, the editor still talks to the president on the phone or the mayor on the phone. That doesn't happen in the United States anymore. It does not happen. 
where it, you know it happened in this country all the way up into the 70s and that never happens now where the president calls the editor of the new york times and say oh that editorial yesterday that doesn't happen but that happens in latin america one interesting element we've seen in terms of social media acting as a trigger of political change is the presence of ngos if there is an active ngo community individual citizens have been able to get third-party information that's not controlled by the state. This is just to focus on societal <coughs> factors, not just the operational ones. The operational ones got us to this moment in time, got us 57% trust. But if you want to get the rest of the way, you have to, you have to concentrate on the societal uh, attributes.